Hey guys, welcome back on board. It is Saturday and we actually drove up yesterday on Friday night. So we've got two full days on the boat to get through our long list of things to do, which is amazing. Uh, Paul is at the moment busy cleaning out the engine um, and he's been hard at work in the bathroom. So we'll show you all of that now. I'm just hanging some curtains that I made during the week and they turned out really really cool we went for a nice light gray color and here they are i'm standing in front of the window but i'm going to finish hanging the rest of those and then i'll give you the full view of um how they all look hanging up so yeah lots to do this weekend and we will try and fill you in on everything as we go This looks scary. Yeah, it is scary. It's like a wood rot. Do you want to tell us what you're doing? Or what you have been doing? You seem pretty far along. Yeah, well... The mushroom vent on the roof was leaking. And then it leaked onto this wood here. So it rotted out all this wood. Um, so I was just taking it down, but there were these covers on that had... Uh, uh, pin nails through the through there just to hold on this covering strip which was quite hard to get out without damaging this covering strip so now I'm going to take these boards down and then take them to the wood shop to get them and new ones cut up and then that'll be good and then we will just reseal the the vent take the vent off on the roof and reseal it and we'll have a leak free bathroom. We'll have a leak free bathroom. This, this is like the bathroom from hell. <laughs> Everything is wrong in the bathroom. <laughs> and yeah, we're getting there slowly. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. The smallest room, biggest problems. That's it. Anyway, that's it. What have you just taught yourself to do, love? Trying to learn how to roll <laughs> up rope. Figure eight, was it?
morning we've just finished a nice brekkie and I've just got to clean up after that yesterday I was super productive got all the curtains hung and Paul got going uh, we try to get our TV and internet connected Paul sealed the shower uh, it seems to I want to say it works in the front underneath the crotch cover we sprayed a lot underneath there and there were a lot of spiders and none have come back so I feel like it does work however just behind me here <laughs> there's like a resident spider that we can't seem to get rid of when we arrived he was there uh, wiped on all the webs yesterday, sprayed again, and this morning pulled the curtain back and he was back. So I put him in a glass and we put him outside. So hopefully that's the last we'll see of that one. Um, but yeah, I'd say successful. Let's see as time goes on. Today we've just taken the wood off the back, sort of like the little bench seat or whatever you call that thing that goes around um, where you steer from and that's got to be sanded and painted probably won't get to that today um probably a job for next weekend uh paul sealed the shower last night so i'm just gonna get going and i haven't really touched the bathroom since the whole toilet saga and all of that so that's got to get a full sort of d lime scale the area and just clean everything up completely so yeah a few jobs today but definitely making way on our list so feeling good Just taken off the entire crotch cover so you can see here this is the side that's bent that we're gonna have to get replaced yeah so it might happen that we need to just go with it for now for our journey so we've got cover and just um, use it as it is but we're gonna get hold of the company and see if they can Help us out. What you doing, love? Putting in some elbow grease. It's your, your turn in the bathroom, is it? Yeah. As long as there's no poo around, I'm fine. Okay. So you got your gloves on. <laughs> so chuffed, guys. So Paul came up with the idea, or told me about. Um, that he knows people clean radiators with tinfoil and there was so much black um, along the tap and yeah it took a bit of elbow grease but look how shiny um, really really chuffed with that I think like the main thing one of the things that sold the boat was that this bathroom feels like a bathroom with all the comforts of home um, it's got like a nice large basin, it's not necessarily the fittings we would have chosen ourselves, but full size shower, um, just yeah, like space for storage for like if you want to put towels or anything. Um, and I think for a room that like you want it to be one of the most comfortable, um, this one really is. And now that it's like shining up to be so nice and new, I'm just, yeah, so excited. I was just measuring up to make some bungs for the bedroom windows. We're going to take the curtain rails off and uh, just have bungs here. It's not necessary for us to have full curtains. And this week I'm doing the upholstery for the L-shaped sofa uh, slash sofa bed, whatever you call those little diner things. And yeah, so tune in for stage two of Annabelle's little quick fix interior makeover. Mm -hmm. 